Hi guys, this is Taylor. I've been sick. I was sick for what definitely felt like an extended period of time, but basically I had a lot of time where I was just sick in bed, uh, hanging out, looking around at my books, as one does, and I was kind of grumpy because I was sick, and I ended up pulling a lot of books, mostly from my TBR, um, a handful of which I have read, and it ended up being a pretty large number of books. I want to say that this is one of my biggest unhauls ever, if not my actual biggest. So I have separated these into categories based on the reason for the unhaul, and the first category is on the basis of the edition. My very first book is The Northern Clemency by Philip Henschler. I almost never do this once I own a book, but I happen to come across a different edition of this that I like so much better. It's big and bold and beautiful, and I just know that I would be so much more compelled to pick it up as opposed to this edition. Also, this particular copy is a little bit, like, grimy. Like, it's got some random dirt, like, between the, the dust jacket, and I, I'm just gonna let this one go. My other edition based on haul is Huck Finn. I have had this copy since I was probably in middle school, and now I have a, an edition that I like a whole lot more than this mass market paperback, which is a format that I will do almost anything not to own. The next category is books that I have read and didn't like. I used to be in the camp of keeping every single book that I've ever read, even if I really didn't like it, even if it was my least favorite book of all time, aka On the Road by Jack Kerouac. It's just time for this to clear up some room on my shelf. This, in addition to Big Sur, I really hated both of these, and I'm just in a place now where I am more than willing to let them go. In this category, I also have Dancing Girls by Margaret Atwood. This is a short story collection that I read about a year ago now and really didn't care for. A couple of these stories struck me as, like, outwardly racist, um, and there was just kind of no coming back from that. And this last category is my biggest by a huge margin. It's just my TBR books that I don't see myself reading for whatever reason. Burning Down George Orwell's House by Andrew Irvin. I don't know why I have this book besides the fact that it was a library discard and it was free. I also have O Pioneers by Willa Cather. I remember picking this up because I really liked the colors in this edition. <laughs> But I've had it for a couple years now, and I don't really think it's the type of classic that I'm going to enjoy reading. Also, Unhauling the Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. I've just never heard anything great about this. I've heard a lot of, it's fine. And I think I've held on to this for as long as I have because I got it for really cheap. Animal Dreams by Barbara Kingsolver. I was assigned this in my sophomore year of high school and immediately did not get on with it. When I was considering this for the unhaul, I, you know, as a test, kind of read the first couple paragraphs and had that same exact, like, visceral reaction, so I'm gonna go ahead and give up on this one. And California by Eden Lepucky. This was one that had a lot of buzz back in the day, and then everyone seemed to read it all at the same time, and all simultaneously said that it was mediocre. So. A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. This has a lot of acclaim from the outside world, but then a lot of people who have the same tastes as me and tend to have similar opinions have all said that it's really not that great of a book at all, and I'm just not really that interested in picking it up either. Uh, Call of the Wild by Jack London. I love this edition. I bought it to read for a classics book club that I was in, but it does break one of my personal rules in that it does heavily feature a dog, and presumably uh, bad things happen to that dog. And then I am unhauling a bunch of other Atwoods as well. Surfacing and Life Before Man are both mass market paperbacks that I've owned for years and never felt compelled to pick up. And Stone Mattress, this is a more recent short story collection that, again, just heard pretty mediocre things about. I am also unhauling The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. This just feels like the window of opportunity has passed, that I didn't read this when it first came out, and now it's been so many years, and I've been 
you know, getting along just fine without having read it. If I decide to pick this one up later, there are plenty of copies floating around as well. And last night a DJ saved my life, The History of the Disc Jockey by Bill Brewster and Frank Broughton. This copy very kindly has You Suck carved into the cover. I like reading about music history, but I don't really remember what compelled me to pick this up in particular. Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. This just doesn't seem like my cup of tea, really. This particular brand of, like, empowerment slash self-help, um, I just rarely find useful, personally. Next up, The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barbary. This is just the classic case of I've owned this since before I started booktube and I'm not really interested in picking it up if I have other options. Finding Signs by Charlene Baker. This was published in the early 90s and has something like less than 20 ratings on Goodreads. It's also billed as the female on the road, which I didn't see before, so no explanation needed. Okay, this one I do need to explain. An Untamed State by Roxane Gay. This I know will probably be great, but I also know that it contains a lot of violence and disturbing events, and I just haven't been in a headspace yet where I've looked at this on my TBR and felt like 100% game to take this on. I could probably be persuaded to keep this one um, just because I know it's gonna be good and I know that the, you know, the traumatic events that take place here are kind of central to the point of the whole thing. Second to last is The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Over the past few years I've just come to the conclusion that I don't really get on well with Ray Bradbury's writing style. I would love to love this book, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. And my last unhaul for today will be Shaman by Kim Stanley Robinson. This book I picked up because it's pretty far out of my comfort zone. I think it's pretty hard sci-fi, and I am unhauling it for exactly that reason. I'm not comfortable with reading hard sci-fi, and I don't want to leave my comfort zone. Great reasoning. So those are all of the many books that will hopefully be finding new homes. As for those books from my TBR, let me know if I should keep anything, if I need to rethink something, or um, maybe I just have something completely wrong, which is always definitely possible. And thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!